All right, we're going to take a look at environmental issues in Europe. Okay, what I want you to do is go ahead and get your notebook and put this in as the title, Environmental Issues of Europe. Particularly, we're going to look at, all right, starting off with the air pollution in the UK. All right, so title this one, Air Pollution in the United Kingdom or Britain or England, whichever one you would like to call it. All right, you got your notebook ready? And let's go. Air pollution consists of chemicals or particles in the atmosphere that pose serious health and environmental threats. But what causes air pollution and what does it mean for our planet? Some air pollution comes from natural sources like volcanic eruptions, wildfires, or allergens. But most air pollution results from human activities, such as energy use and agriculture. There are different types of human-made air pollution. When we burn fossil fuels to produce energy, they release greenhouse gases into the air. These emissions, such as carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and fluorinated gases, trap heat from the sun in Earth's atmosphere, leading to a rise in global temperatures. This creates a cycle where air pollution contributes to climate change, and climate change creates higher temperatures. In turn, higher temperatures intensify some types of air pollution. For example, climate change increases smog because it forms in the presence of high heat and increased levels of ultraviolet radiation. More frequent extreme weather, such as flooding, contributes to damp conditions and therefore to a rise in mold. Warmer weather also leads to longer pollen seasons and therefore more pollen production. Smog is a type of air pollution that reduces visibility and has serious health effects. Smog can be divided into two categories, sulfurous and photochemical. Sulfurous smog is made up of chemical compounds called sulfur oxides. It occurs when burning sulfur-bearing fossil fuels such as coal. Photochemical smog, also called ground-level ozone, is a result of the reaction between sunlight, nitrogen oxides, and volatile organic compounds. Nitrogen oxides come from car exhaust, coal power plants, and factory emissions. Volatile organic compounds are released from gasoline, paints, and many cleaning solvents. Smog not only creates a brown haze that reduces visibility, but also harms plants, irritates the eyes, and causes respiratory distress. Another category of air pollution is toxic pollutants. These are chemicals such as mercury, lead, dioxins, and benzene that are released during gas or coal combustion, waste incineration, or burning of gasoline. In addition to adverse environmental effects, toxic air pollution can cause serious health problems such as cancer, reproductive complications, and birth defects. While air pollution has many consequences for our planet, there are solutions. We can limit toxic pollutants, smog, and greenhouse gases by decreasing the use of fossil fuels such as in transportation, manufacturing, and electricity generation. Reducing air pollution not only contributes to a cleaner environment and better human health, but can also slow the rate of global warming. Okay, I hope that was helpful. You should have got five facts from that video. All right, and if you didn't, if you only got three or four, um, go back and play it again and listen to it, okay? So uh, you can play it as many times as you like. Now, let's look at air pollution in the UK. All right. Uh, now, if you look at this picture over here, it looks pretty bad. This is a picture of London. Have you ever heard London Bridge is falling down? Well, this is that London Bridge right here. Okay. Now, Europe has some of the world's largest industrialized nations. All right. And Britain was the very first nation in the world, not just in Europe, but in the world to industrialize. And because of that, they had some of the world's first problems with industrialization, like the creation of smog. All right. And smog is simply the words smoke 
and fog mixed together. You take the SM and the OG and that makes smog. Okay, make sure you get this part down here. And let's get some causes and effects. All right, now one cause of air pollution today all right now in the old days it was all about burning coal all right because they had too many coal burning factories but eventually they began to reduce the amount of coal burning factories and still they had an issue with smog and that's because automobiles are a chief polluter probably the biggest polluter today all right now the effects all right um that we have to deal with as humans okay and it's particularly little kids asthma oh my god I, my daughter had um both my daughters actually had asthma my, my youngest had it really bad though um so she had to wear that inhaler all the time um and asthma has been directly linked that means it we know for certain that it comes from vehicle emissions which means gasoline oil petroleum all right what we burn in our cars okay um now it's also a key ingredient for acid rain which we'll be looking at next all right now how did britain try to reduce its problem with air pollution well they've made a bunch of changes all right um so they're struggling with this because it is a real problem today uh let's see here the government has passed some strict laws to improve air quality um now has it completely gotten rid of air pollution no but they have reduced it okay um as opposed to where it used to be um they've started using more plant-based sources for automobiles or at least they are starting to promote this um solar and wind energy are out on the rise um but again all of these are in the works or at various um various places of development we have not reached a final solution to end air pollution okay all right i got three little questions and i want you to do this on a separate sheet of paper and turn them in tomorrow okay answer these three questions right here one two and three Thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow.